Welcome back. The last type of word problem I'd like for us to look at is what I call the coin problem. And this can be done with nickels, dimes, quarters, any type of coin. Um, in this case, we're looking at just two types of coins. We've got Lacey, and she saved all of her quarters and her dimes in a jar. She has uh, collected 170 coins that are worth $26. We want to know how many of each coin she has. Well, let's think logically about this. Okay, she's only got two types of coins. Okay, she's got quarters, which are worth 25 cents. So we would say 25 cents, but we don't know how many quarters she has, so we're going to multiply that by Q quarters. Then we're going to add to that all of our dimes. Okay, dimes are 10 cents each, so we're going to multiply 10 cents times the number of dimes that we have. Here we have a money plus money problem, so money plus money always equals more money. So that gives us $26. Now most of the time we don't really care for working with decimals, so let's go ahead and multiply this equation by 100 and that will get rid of all of our decimal points. That gives us 25Q plus 10D equals 2,600. Okay, that's only one equation though. Okay, here we don't need this one anymore. We need to find another equation or another number that we haven't used in this equation yet. Do you see the 170 coins? That tells us that we have 170 a combination of 170 coins that are made up of quarters and dimes. So we could say all of our quarters plus all of our dimes equals 170. From here we can solve our system of equations by using either substitution or elimination. I'm going to use elimination. We multiply the second equation by negative 10 to eliminate the d's or the dimes. Negative 10, that gives us negative 10q minus 10d equals negative 1700. Our initial top equation is going to say the same, 25q plus 10d equals 2600. Now we can combine these two equations together. Our d's cancel out leaving us with 15q equals 900. Well, when we divide 900 by 15 to get the q isolated, we find out that we have 60 quarters. Now, once we know we have 60 quarters, it's easy to find out how many dimes we have. We have 170 coins. So if there are 170 coins and 60 of them are quarters, then 110 of the coins must be dimes. Does that make sense? Let's try one of the, I want you to try the next one of these. And then I want you to submit your answer on the form uh, under this link. Thank you.